Yeah, because I usually investigate everything in the room, and I usually figure out puzzles after a while. Yeah, not right away, but I usually find out, figure out puzzles after a while. One, um, one after another, everyone made it their way to the dining hall. And before too long, hmm. what appear everyone has returned. But well, still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough to for a decent volleyball team. I mean, three on three is pretty good. Sophie, I didn't want you to try to remember stuff that you didn't need to remember. I get that. I get that. And I appreciate that, Arctic. But, you know, it's just, it's, it, it, you gotta let me figure stuff out. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one person dies, we can we can still field a ba field we can still field a basketball team. Yeah, one basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyways, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> can we stop this all, all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Oh, I have to talk to everybody. Wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, it's like I just thought we were missing somebody for a second. I I miss Sakura. <laughs> You know? Well, there's a big garden on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly, a stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, a tool shed. This man's worried about a tool shed. I love all you guys, you best family. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's a totally man. It's a. To it's totally a man-eating plant. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's different from the uh, the one that lives in the pipe. Th Wait. I'm pretty sure it's different for the one that lives in the pipe, though. Anyway, that must. Um, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7:30 on the dot. Again, at 7:30 seems very important, though. Um, hmm. Daddy Long Legs hates friends. I mean, Daddy Long Legs hates any kind of social interaction, it seems like. He would rather be left alone. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah! We don't want to worry. They said they say idiots never catch colds, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. What? Hmm. I'm sorry to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? I'm worried about the whole group of people. Yeah, typical Reddit. What the heck? Oh, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I'm just, we're just concerned. You've been smoking the devil's grass too much. I'm just a weep. <laughs> um, I may have been held back three times, but I don't have, don't make me stupid. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that don't, that don't make me stupid. I'm just a slow learner. That's Ooh. all. I mean, he's right. Some people learn at their own paces. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? <laughs> Don't worry, you just answered it. Damn. Damn, Nina. Damn. What about Toko? Will Toko actually talk to me? I'm on a bonus level set. Oh, you, so you are done? <laughs> hey, Byaku, it seems like Toko wants to say what? something. So why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man, I know you're like tor you like torturing her, but come on. <laughs> Well, Toku, if you want to envelop, envelop us with uh, us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. You, you honor me, master. I don't like this relationship. Um, and don't worry, I, I, I took care of the odor problem. Oh, uh, seriously? You gotta you, you just gotta take it? Shut up and don't interrupt when master and me are talking. Oh. Um, yeah, she definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go into it. Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to give fuel to some people in the chat. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. Oh, it it was th this, a knife. Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. <laughs> it's a survival knife of some, some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you gonna use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I don't want to leave a knife just laying around you so we could trip and fall. As long as it's consensual. God damn it, Wolfies! This is why I did. This is what I was trying to avoid. How about that? And I, I got a knife. Nope. <laughs> Looking for almost no. I don't have it laying around then in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> don't care, compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. She doesn't like even though they they share a body. They she doesn't like being. Like compared to her, because they're two they're two different entities, even though they share a body. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? 
We can let Toko keep it, that's for... We can't let Togo keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyways, it's too dangerous. Hmm, so, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh, me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. And that's it. That, that, that's that. Hold on, wait, I don't get a, I don't get a it's say. All clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. I don't like that. That might set me up for something bad. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> Okay, so here you go, Makoto, and then stab. <laughs> here you go, Makoto, stab, take the knife. I'm just saying those two types of relationships can, of course, be harmful. Oh, that's true. I mean, you're right. I mean, you're right, Wolfie. I mean, you're right. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I could do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. As I say, he could just keep it in his room and just, like, lock it in a drawer. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Hey, Toko. Oh, did I still, do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Oh, huh? 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 <laughs> Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. Yeah. No. Oh, she doesn't like to be praised, though. That's right. She wants, like, the more, like, I guess. I, I, I'm dreaming. I must be. Tre oh, maybe she does <laughs> like it. Never mind. Oh, that I would ever experience such a dream. Oh no, I feel strange. No, no, so strange. I'm really strange. Oh, no, no. Nope. <laughs> Whenever I look at Toko, these and it makes me feel sad. I just, <laughs> I just feel so sad for her. I also forgot he had three nope. other things he wanted to talk about. He wanted to talk about the plant and then the chicken coop and then the tool shed. Oh my god, that did, I did not need that experience. Toko always makes me sad. I just worry for her. There was a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, mm. right? That's right, five. Five chickens? <laughs> Why is he so... He's so stuck on five. Five chicken. ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Chickens! I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue decisions, <sighs> decisions. Oh, oh, how about raw? Just because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? That's... I don't think you're supposed to eat chicken raw. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Yeah, it's probably... You know? <laughs> There's a big garden and then tool shed. Tool shed. You notice it too, huh? The pit, that pickaxe. Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the pickaxe in the tool shed. That the and the words "crazy diamond" had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy diamond. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound for, kind of familiar. I think. It's true. I don't just- I, I don't just think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase huh? before. Huh? Where? Is Coco- Coco's big brain over here gonna remember? And- Ah, oh, that's it, I remember! I was on Mundo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. And it also has the same symbol. It has that star symbol on the very end of the pickaxe. You're absolutely mm. right. But why would th that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mundo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mundo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed, the pickaxe connected to Mundo. Mm. Well, that's that stuck out to me. Wait. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what nope. did? What I noticed was a lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. What, we're just going to rev the lawnmower? Huh? How are we going to call for help with a lawnmower? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can use it to make a crop circle or something. We just talked about this. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop well. circles and we can use those to call for help. Oh my God. What the heck happened to you? You've been sniffing the plants. You sniffed some of those flowers too much, you got all the haze. You weren't like this at the beginning, you know? No. Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Uh. I don't think it was it was possible. I'm more disappointed in you now than I ever been. He was just like, I have no faith in you. Hero is an ultimate, um, mind reader. So he's the ultimate clairvoyant, right? If I remember correctly. I'm not a mind reader. I don't, I don't think his mind reading works very well. We, what, no, he says his mind reading works 33% of the time. So a third of the time, he's always right. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. A bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? Bio, bio lab stuff. He and I was like, wow, I think you're the only normal person. <laughs> I think he's the only not normal person here. He's just, he's like, what do you call it? Like the way he like, I don't know, the, um, his ideas behind things. 
Like how he was talking about, um... Oh, what was it? He was putting weird things together. Like he was talking about like aliens and stuff in the in the where in the in the greenhouse. I can't even speak today. Like his his way the way he puts things together, two and two together is really weird. Like he takes two and five and puts them together. It's like that's not that's not no <laughs> no. If this were like a quick horror game or cliche horror game, it would be some kind of creature, the final boss or tyrant. See like this. But we're not in a horror game though. <laughs> Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. I guess, um, Dragman is also self-aware. They're all self-aware at this point. Yeah, truly. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. No. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. <laughs> no, how I said it is right, too. It's our sassy pants. Yeah! But they are- they- but they are- oh God, he's like, but they are in a horror game! I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. They used to, they used to be, um, they used to, wait, they used to kind of be Sakura's job, but mm. anyways, no dice, there were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere cool. else, which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the just school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh, wh why so do you then. ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every floor has. Stairs? They, there's no there's no sixth floor. We're at the top. That's the top, right? Something on the other floors, but not on the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? Yeah, so we're at the top floor. The only horror in this game are corpse reveals. <laughs> I'm terrified every second, Pebbles. What are you talking about? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the Correct. end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. <laughs> All that's left now is to solve that the underlying mystery. What? But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, 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 not I'm sure we absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. And then let's talk to Byaku. I mean, Toko <laughs> scares me. I mean, Toko does kind of every once in a while. By the way, did any of you find it? The, the strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> oh, that room! God! Pebbles, what do you mean this is not a horror game, Pebbles? The, or the only horror in the body. What is this, Pebbles? A smell of flesh, uh, fat, and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It's more dreadful than anything I've, um, I've encountered here so far. What? 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 What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, the smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's, um, everybody smell, uh, everybody smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf you just hearing you describe what? it. But I mean, what the hell happened in that so room? In other words, I can only think of one thing: a large group of people died right there in that <laughs> room. A bunch of people were killed in there. Stop! Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps I was just. It was, it was, it was meant, wait, that's what was meant by, I thought, it was, I thought she said, it was just meant to be. <laughs> I thought that's what it said, I was like, wait, do you hear the music in the background? I hear, is that really scary? Yes, Pebbles, the beats, the beats get to me. <laughs> they shock my soul, Byaku be, but he kills people. I mean, he might. Again, I have a feeling Byaku will kill somebody before the end of this game. Um, I always figured that. Perhaps that's what, what, um, that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then. My theory- Oh, that's right, Monokuma said there was a big tragic event that happened. The big- the most tragic event in human history, and that room might have to do with it. Is that- it's- it's really- it's really scary, Pebbles. It gets to me- it gets to me, Pebbles. The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was a tragedy that happened a year ago. I mean, it makes in sense. Other words. Like, cause what, six people? I think we counted eight or six people died in that room? That's a big- that's a lot of people. Precisely, tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Speak Academy. If that's it's true, that would explain why Hope Speak uh, was forced to close its doors because a mass murder happened. Coco seems kind of sus to me. Coco always seems sus. Coco's just big brain. But yeah, I'm starting to sus Coco because she's a little too calm all the time and she knows a little too much. There were six by. Oh, that's right. I saw a lot of people. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's, just, it's all just so awful. No, just awful. Super awfully awful. 
They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like, th like that happened? Probably because probably it was brushed under the rug. Because the school was really well known. If it's as well known as we know it to be, if something this big happened where like six people were killed, they would just brush them under the rug. Does that mean they really did cover it up? I'm pretty sure they did. Makoto, Hiro, Hina, Byaku, Koko are five people. That gives me a theory. <laughs> Bell, Bell is like, I've, I've, got a, I've got an idea. <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't have said that if stories in here. <laughs> well, I think that's all the new information we have for yep. now. So now what do we do? Hmm. Go to sleep? Well, starting today, we're all, we're all under my com Wait, starting today, we're all under my command. What do you Who put you in charge, Mr. Sassy Pants? But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're going to bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um... So what is it, it, it you want to figure out? Hmm. Coco's identity. Oh, because we don't know what she's the ultimate of. We haven't been told that yet. Why is he in charge of doing good? Because he's bossy. He's sassy. He's sassy pants. He thinks he's a know-it-all. That's it. Huh? Well. Coco's identity. But Coco is Coco, right? <laughs> yes, but... Who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina, the ultimate swimming pro. Hiro, the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> More unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about Coco? Can anyone tell me what she uh, is? Um... Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> Though I've, never, I've actually never played that game. Don't know, but I've heard it's really good. Well, Coco doesn't really like talking about herself anyways, right? <laughs> it's not It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions, so Coco, it's time you told us. Oh, I'm kind of curious. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Why can't you, Coco? Are you ultimate despair? Coco? <laughs> Coco! Mm -hmm. What? Why won't you tell us? I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. Oh, something's keeping her from telling us. What, does Monokuma have a hostage for her too? Cause I know um, Sakura had to listen to Monokuma cause he was holding her dojo hostage. The heck? What? What do you mean? So... Because I don't, I, she doesn't remember? Oh, that's why she ran up to Monokuma and was like, what did you do to me? What did you do to my body? Because she doesn't remember anything. Is she the ultimate forgetful? <laughs> the ultimate forgetfulness? Man, I can't trust Coco. Nobody trusts Coco. Everybody's so sus of Coco. I was like, wait, is she, she, wait, is she hot? Is Coco getting blackmailed? She might be. But I mean, it looks like she just forgot everything. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory, you mean amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking, but if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. No, you can't be serious right now, can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us? Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What? What are you gonna do? Torture me? <laughs> nothing so barbaric. Why does she have a smile when she said, Are you gonna torture me? <laughs> um, or you can just zip to the lip you turn. <laughs> I'm Mugo, I'm guessing you don't like Bianca. <laughs> Just zip the <laughs> Oh my goodness. The ultimate amnesia. Exactly. I think so barbaric is that. Clear, oh my goodness. Well, I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the cue to your What? No. No, Byaku, no. No. What is he gonna go investigate her room? No, <laughs> you don't like nope. You're like, nope, mm-mm. But she gives her, you her room key. She can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. I, a threat like That's that. Fine. fine, I understand. Oh, oh, just like that? Oh, fine. <laughs> no, please, we don't need another chill. Exactly. Watch her split. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for, con for conversation. Without saying a word, Coco walked right up to Yaku and held out her, key her room key it, to him. It can't be. You damn fool! Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that... So, um... So, she she really can't talk. Daddy Long legs. what are you going to do? You do you kick you? Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever, where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However... 
A worse school where only the worst things happen. Do you really, do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? I thought she was gonna fold him. You thought she was, what, you thought she was gonna beat him up? This is the middle right in front of everybody. Coco should have drop kicked him. Oh my God, everybody's like beat up Miyoko. Like don't kill him, but just like bring him to the break of death. Hold him like, oh my goodness gracious. Watch her be like the strongest. Like we always thought Sakura was the strongest. And it's, it's like oh, Coco's the ultimate strength and just like you said, folds him in half. Perhaps I've said too much. Coco then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Where do you think you're Goodbye. going? Don't worry, I'm just, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Coco's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound that, um, the only sound was the door opening and closing as Coco left the what room. The Why do they say her last words like she's going to die? Make Yoko have a breakdown. <laughs> not the arrogant pride of <laughs> He just break, he just breaks his back. Or she just breaks his back. Oh. Oh my goodness, break his, break his back like pain. <laughs> Everybody's so aggressive. Everyone's making like first Coco was sus and now they want Co now you guys want Coco to beat up a Bianco. What what's her All deal? Right. I think he went too far taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoy getting yelled at. Oh god, Stop not like on. this. You're getting nosy again, Toko. Oh. Come on. Sorry, I can't just, I I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, um, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Oh, <laughs> You're telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... <laughs> I saw her... <laughs> I saw her near her bed. Coco is pretty sus. But what's Coco gonna do now? Plus the situation, it's just like before. It's so different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I'm no different either. That's true. Because they were kind of like pinpointing everything on Sakura. Now they're putting everything on Coco. The only thing I can think of is maybe Coco took one of the, the dead, like one of the dead students' keys. So she gave Byaku her key, but she could go sleep in like Sayaka's room or like Chihiro's room because she has their key. Because what happens to their keys? Their keys just, what, vanish? Thought just Byaku is the ultimate strength that just breaks. Oh my God. I still can't stop anyone. <laughs> Are you okay here? What? What? Why are they all um, freaking out? What the hell? Why are you yelling at all of a sudden? Cause, I mean, cuz, cuz, look. Oh, hi, Monokuma. What? What? It's you, Halloween, been standing there. <laughs> They're not very observant, I have to say. Um, even more plot twists both Coco and Byaku are ultimate strong and meet an endless battle. <laughs> it's just like an anime battle that's gonna take 14 episodes to get through before we find out the victor. I like Monokuma's song. Monokuma's like my favorite song. Like when he comes out, I'm very, very angry. Oh, angry at what? At the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Oh, what? My precious, they stole it. Oh, is it the knife? I'm here. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Useless, 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 useless. Your precious. Your teacher had such teacher. faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Oh, he's so angry. You love Dagon 2 Robo songs? I love the songs of this one, so I'm hoping. Totally, totally be <laughs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? Uh, isn't it? Um, no wonder people run away into their fantasies. I bet his precious is some bitch. Um... I think it's the knife. But what the heck is your precious? <laughs> Shut up, I hope all of you get stuck in a, in a high range freeze and die pain. And it's on the streets. Hey, listen, you said that we had everything we needed here. We don't need to work. What the what heck? The and he's gone? What the heck was that all about? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? I... Well, let's, let's think about it. Hmm. What did we find on the fifth floor that would make sense? I mean, he had his little chalk knife. Hmm. It's like something to do... It likely has something to do with Coco. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Coco really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what is it? And why would she do that? Oh, it's nighttime. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, 
Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Thanks, Morikuma. Um, See, he cares. He doesn't want the bed bugs to bite. See, what? he truthfully, deep down, he cares. Everybody give Morikuma crap. Oh, Morikuma advertises, advertises alcohol. It's cranberry juice, Pebbles. Cranberry juice. What do you mean it's alcohol? Cranberry. Cranberry juice, Pebbles. He just likes fancy cranberry juice. Don't let the bed, don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh-oh, we need to get out of you here. Know? We can talk about this more tomorrow and about Coco. <laughs> However, after what just happened with Monokumo and Coco, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your room, don't go wandering around. No. Not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. What happens if Saba was trapped up in the fifth floor? Like Saba couldn't get to us and we couldn't get to Saba, but now that the fifth floor is open, Saba can get to us and we can get to her. Like she was trapped up there until now. And that's why like Monokumo, that's why they felt like we call it a presence or they felt like our, um, they felt uneasy on the fifth floor, and maybe that's why the bio lab was blocked because um, Saba locked it. But Saba appeared before. I mean, I, that's true. That's true. But I'm just saying, maybe she was like mainly locked up there. When then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. I don't want to go bad. Five more minutes, mom. <laughs> Remember a secret room. That's true. That's true. Well, maybe she had access to it from the fifth room or fifth floor though, but she didn't know that she could access the other floors. From that secret room. Sleep, yes. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Don't wanna sleep. You can't make me. Oh, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. Oh, I forgot about the giant Rambo knife. I forgot that they gave it to us. Who are you gonna spend time with now? Since Sakura is dead. Don't remind me, Pebbles. How dare you? Too soon, Pebbles. The wounds are, have not healed. How could you, Pebbles, my heart? I think the safest place it will be is in my desk drawer. Oh, you don't wanna put it under your pillow? Or in your own back. But anyways, if is Coco really gonna be okay? Oh, I forgot knife in my pocket. I know how he's like, oh, look at her. She can't get into her room with what she's gonna do. Spend time with, with forget her. Oh, is that what you're calling Coco now? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can, are you gonna let her stay in your room? Or are you just gonna pass out? Oh my God, I feel like Makoto's the super, the ultimate sleeper, the ultimate napper. I feel like I can relate to Makoto.